Now I tell you, praise God now. Because the Lord won't give you that salvation you're looking for. Now, God. What's up? I'm Ricky Dome. Yep, that's my name. Got my own show. Things are really shaping up. I've never been anywhere or done anything outside of Texas. Growing up, we just didn't have the money to travel. Now, I work for the second largest hotel chain in the world, and they're sending me across America to find the coolest things in cities big and small and share them with you. This is Ricky Don't Does. Ricky Don't Does, we just left Portland, took a hop, skip and a jump across the country, and we landed in a true culture hub of the US, home of the trap, home of lemon pepper, home of Magic City, ATL. I'm here. It's a, it's a crank call. Suck it. It tastes like. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, like a tofu wrapping? Hold up, a real one just pulled in. Opened in 1947 by Lucy Jackson. She wanted to share her soul food with the world and opened Busy Bee Cafe. Supposed to be the best fried chicken in the South, so that probably also means the world we fit to eat. So this place is pretty important historically to Atlanta because this is one of two black owned businesses that date back to the Jim Crow era. This street that we're on is one of two streets where back in segregation times that black people could open a business. Here's my order. Busy Bee's fried chicken, baked macaroni and cheese, collard greens, broccoli cheese casserole, peach cobbler, and banana pudding. I'm going in. I might be more excited for this meal than any meal I've ever eaten on this show. Like truly, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to eat this chicken right now. My God. Jesus Christ, this smells incredible. Our texture is like perfectly flaky and crunchy of this skin. It is, this is so juicy inside, my God. And this is dark meat. It's a thigh. I'm typically a breast man, but I'm thighing it up today. Oh my God. See these little pieces of cheese right here. That's what I'm looking for when I want mac and cheese. And greens go. Was it made with bacon? Maybe. Oh my God. I'm about to go mask off and just dominate this whole plate, so see y'all in a minute. All right, guys, so we just uh, demolished all this Busy Bee's goodness. Honestly, some of the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life, and I'm so happy I got to taste this. It's safe to say, when Atlanta, Busy Bee Cafe, don't pass it up. The TV show introduced the world to the flavor, but it was already an Atlanta staple. Originally called Fester Wings, Lemon Pepper Wet is the wing flavor for Atlanta, and this place is doing it right. This is JR Crickets. And we just hit Busy Bees. I'm fuller in all hell, so, but this is the first ever Ricky Don't. Bang, bang. All right, guys, here at JR Crickets with owner Paul Giuliano. Yeah. <laughs> Are wings the Atlanta staple food? Well, I've never been in a place that, that is so wing crazy. Obviously the show Atlanta like took your wings to the next level. Yep. And so at home, once I saw that, I had to find out what lemon pepper wet was. It's the number one flavor right now. It's the most popular. And that's what people come in here for. And can you tell us what exactly, for those who don't know, what lemon pepper wet is? Lemon pepper wet is your traditional buffalo wing sauce, a medium flavor. And then the lemon pepper is sprinkled on after it's shaken up in the sauce. After they toss yeah. it, okay. What kind of uh, impact did that scene have on this restaurant? Well, people, this, this became almost like a destination. We had no input as to the scene where you're sitting now. Okay. We had no input in that at all. So many people have come in and recreated that scene. People yeah. have actually sat where you're sitting or awaited to sit there. So and, and then they get their box and they open. Oh. 
I'll take man. in the aroma. Okay. It's like open it up it's, a present at Christmas I know. morning, isn't it? Man, that hits that, that that hits different literally. Now, do you do the the get it off in one? I don't personally. I've no. seen people do okay. it. I um, maybe I can try. If you, but that's I for a drum. I, I, I think that's uh, no. I, the single the single strip works better with the drum. Okay. I think it's gonna be hard to do a single strip with that unless you're real aggressive. Uh oh. Oh my good. Wow. See, see, you, mm. you'd have to you'd middle. have to have a big snaggle tooth to get the middle. Man, you know, a specialty. That is incredible. Man, this is unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate. Because I, when I go, once I go back home, it's like I don't get this anymore. Well, you know what? I can send you the lemon pepper wet bottles. I get this sweat out. <laughs> God. Some people have meat sweats. I just have eat sweats. I was hoping you would be so kind as to let me toss. Absolutely. Some wings. Absolutely. And you can toss okay. away. All right. Let's get to tossing. Let's do it. I'm trying to toss. All right. Get wet, toss. All right. Now, these boys are mine right here. These are about to be all mine. How many wings do you think you could eat in one sitting? Empty stomach. Empty stomach, how many wings? 40. 15, if I had to. Any more than that? This guy's climbing 40. <laughs> you think you could actually get 40 wings? In one sitting? Yeah. Like in an hour. No, I can't. But yeah. I'm, I'm lying to y'all. I'm lying to myself. You talk a big talk. Right? <laughs> Dude, I'm, talk, I'm talking big. We are in the true center of wetness at JR Crickets. Back in the kitchen, about to get some wings tossing up. Can you get some air? Look at you. The magic lemon pepper dust. Okay. How's he doing, Paul? You know, he's pretty good for a rookie. At least he's getting a little bit of air, and we haven't lost one yet. We have yeah. no casualties. I think you're good. All right. Now, now sprinkle a little more lemon pepper on him all, all right. around. Sprinkling it in. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Look at Damn. that. You're a master. Look at this. That's real wing stuff right there. Try one. That's bam. Fresh out. Oh yeah. All right, that's it for me. My guy Paul right here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Thanks for letting me uh, do a kitchen takeover real quick. Chicken. Make sure you come get wet at JR Crickets. Try chicken is chicken, but the wing is the thing. Okay, because chicken is chicken, but the wing is the thing at JR Crickets. There you go. Awesome. Thank you guys. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Basketball courts, tennis courts, swimming pool, and a whole mess of ducks. Piedmont Park really has it all. It's gigantic and beautiful and home to the Montreux Jazz Festival. Sleep. This is like one of the best parks in the world, for sure, like hands down. About to stop in for a quick drink at Little Trouble. It's like a Blade Runner type kind of bar. Super dark in there, can't see anything, so I'm about to go to the Stevie Wonder mode and feel this boy out. All right, so Little Trouble is known mainly for three things. Iconic neon lights, Japanese whiskey, and some stiff ass drinks. This one's called the Switchblade. Uh, it's got some type of vermouth, Japanese whiskey and you like citrus flavor is what I'm getting. It's like the best Sprite I've ever had. Japanese corn dog, check. Japanese whiskey, big check. Never had it before, gonna try it. Straight up. $75, man. $35. This is $75. This is not, this is not, this is not for me. Hey, wash that out with corn dog flavor. This place is in Midtown, and once you hit the tunnel, you see like this big dope neon sign. It's like, this is the spot for all Instagrams. Nothing like this in Dallas. This is a total vibe. 
you're looking to hit that IG thirst trap, get all them likes, this is the spot right here. Get your picture taken in front of that big neon sign. The likes are coming. They are coming. If you shoot it, they will come. I'm about to snack up the rest of this bun, get a few more drinks, hit a few more spots, because you know I got to get my going now on. Magic City on a Monday, but we're here on a Friday, referenced in hundreds of songs. Careers are made here, money is lost. People here make $2,000 in two hours, and they stay here till five in the morning counting their money. If you know, you know. I'll just, oh, okay. What's up? Oh, yes, sir. This a uh, uh, so I'm on a let me turn this off. Forgot to turn this off. Is it like you think there's like a locals only vibe? I'm gonna get like it on for spray painting bad. We're at Krog Street, and they just kind of let you paint on the walls. Nobody cares, uh, so I'm gonna add my mark to this city. Spray paint stinks. Spray paint is hard. I suck at this, honestly. You suck, man. I know. I think it sucks, but it is what it is. I was trying to do like a graffiti, um, like how they. It's like, it says, just don't. Is this any good? Can you read what it says? No. Yeah, I can't either. You got any thoughts on this? Trash, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a real artist now. You wanna come, snap a photo of this before it gets painted over in Krog Street. If you see this here, please at me on Instagram, Ricky Don't. Please, show me that this art is still here, the stuff I did. Graffitiing is hard. Uh, I don't, it's like I don't know if I can get better at it even if I practice. You don't think about the paint running. You really gotta be light with it, it felt like, and I, I think I went too heavy on it. It was spraying too close. <laughs> so, kind of discouraging to my graffiti street artist career. All right, we're here at the Trap Music Museum. It's uh, owned, ran, curated by T.I. himself, king of the city. Uh, it's a big, long line to get in. We're about to see if this place is worth the wait. Let's get on this trap, though. I am T.T. I like to welcome y'all to the Trap Music Museum. Appreciate what you it. see on the table are exhibits only. Nothing in here is real. No okay? man. So I will repeat that for my two smokers. Nothing in here Not is real. Did he give you a little history on the background of the trap. TT didn't care what the fella did as long as the rent got paid. Oh, okay? they got paid. Period. Blue. Now y'all showing the movie or something? Also, we should a travel show. I am TT. I like glad to Ricky meet don't. you. Ricky, don't. I'm Ricky, don't. Hustle right. man. Ricky, glad don't. Glad to meet you. Uh, welcome to TI's Trap Music Museum. Okay, appreciate also, it. Also, for all my educators, we are not here to glorify nor celebrate selling drugs. We are only here to inform you of the trap culture. Jet the music, okay? that's all. These are my nieces and nephews on the wall. If you know at least five of them, you are a true trapper. Yeah. Okay, Cardi, do you know any of them? That's Two Chains? Yeah, okay. We got Cardi. Is that T.I.? Yes, yeah. that's Miss Dad. That's T.I. That's T.I.? Is that Thug? Yeah, that's the Young that Thug. thug. Oh, we got 21 Savage right yeah, here. Yeah, okay. You that's five, right. that's, that's five, five, right? That's five, baby. Right. Okay. <laughs> This is the Young Jeezy Snow Room. This is the infamous Young Jeezy Snowman logo. This was on Plenty of Tall Tees circa 2006 because he got that snow, man. Weird spices. This is so tight. This is, this is the coolest museum I've ever been in. Like, like far and away. This whoops any museum ever. It's cool to see like dinosaurs and shit, but man, to see like stuff you're actually into right now, to see stuff that's a history of and influence of things going on right now, 
Like this is it. This is this is rad. You don't get this. All right, we came, we trapped, we conquered. Big long line, but uh, this was one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in my life. A real like museum dedicated to stuff that I like that's going on right now. I would say if you come to Atlanta, this is a thousand percent worth the wait. Like you have to come to this. If you're into trap music, please support the arts. Come to the Trap Music Museum, it's a must. <laughs> All right, we are here at Sister Luisa's house. Nope. Okay, we are here at Sister Luisa's Church of the Living Room and Ping Pong Emporium. Come on in, precious. Uh, this is a super rad, very different bar. It's a vibe for sure, and I am here for it. BuzzFeed called this the best themed bar in the world. So we're about to part the Red Seas, dap up some communion, and talk to Grant, the owner, and see what he brings to Atlanta. <laughs> We're here with owner Grant Henry, um, who is the, were you the head pastor here? Or? I'm, all, I'm Sister Luisa. You are so, Sister Luisa. I'm, I do the Sister Luisa art. Okay, all right. I'm the owner, uh, yeah, and the artist. And you do all of the art? I do all the art. Wow. I buy all the shit. I buy all the Jesus shit. I buy, I have, I have somebody that makes all the neon. Like, if I wasn't a compulsive shopper, and a compulsive buyer, I would be a very wealthy man. You'd be a millionaire. I'd awesome. be a millionaire. Okay. Yeah. What does the church bring to Atlanta? First off, it's not the church. It's not the church. It's, it's just, just church? church. Okay. Let me, we'll cut. Church is like, for me, it's a place that's open, diverse. Anybody can come here and feel good about themselves because there's no judgment. And by design, there's two things that I did when I opened up that t everybody told me I would fail. One was you can't have a bar without smoking, so we don't have smoking. Okay. And you can't have a bar without TVs in Atlanta. I said, F TVs. So when I opened this up, I thought, if I don't do smoking and I don't do TVs, then the only thing that they can do is commune with Talk each to other. each other. So it's a church. That is incredible. Yeah. I love that. It's by design. You have a rule. The employees here are not allowed to acknowledge celebrities. Is that right? You know what? We just get too many of them through here, and it's like, I just want celebrities when they come through to feel at home. Right. You know, I tell them, if a, if a celebrity comes in, don't acknowledge that they're a celebrity. Don't right. say they've seen any movies. Serve them their drink and just do your job. Right. Don't worry And about I them. noticed, because when I came in, everyone just treated me totally normal. Where did the uh, fear what made you embrace that? Because I love that. You want to get serious a second? Let's get serious, man. That's okay. why I'm here. The reason I have this fear is not because I don't have fear. It's because I have an abnormal amount of fear. Okay. So if I become aware of the fact that I have fear, if I'm not doing something because of a fear, right. I sort of like power through it. And that's sort of where I'm at. I, ne I never traveled outside of the state of Texas before. You know, I grew up with not a lot of money, so we never went anywhere. And I felt like I sort of got like trapped in this mind frame of just like, oh, it's okay to just, you know, stick around. And whenever I would think like, oh, what if I were to go visit this by myself or something? I would, I would get scared. I was just scared and I'd, and I'd shut down and say, you know what? No, I'm not gonna be here. With this show, it's, you know, scared. Maybe the next episode isn't gonna do as well. And so I really buy into that. Just like, I'm also full of fear and f it. Man, wow, we are connected, man. I, I really feel it, like, well, we were supposed to meet or something. This is, this is great. Yeah. When I looked at it, I thought, you know what? They get it. They get Our show. It. Yeah, your show. Ricky Don't Does gets it. It <laughs> gets it because it's, like, it's almost like we don't have to be shiny and perfect. And it's like we want to, like, meet. We want to, like, hit the, the people. Right, yeah. You know. Well, this is a... Uh, this has been quite special, and uh, if you guys are in Atlanta, on God, come to Sister, come to Sister Louise's <laughs> Church, Church of the Living, of the living room, room and Ping Pong Emporium. Come in, come on in, in, pre come come on on in, in precious. precious. <laughs> on God. <laughs> on God. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you're awesome. Yeah, you are too, yeah, man. Yeah. This is this awesome. is great. Thanks so much. I'm I'm glad y'all are like. 
y'all have like hit a nerve, I think. With this, you've really hit a nerve. Yeah. And it's because it relates to everybody. And it's not trying to be anything other than it is. Yeah, I, I can only be myself. It's awesome. Hold on, we got a car coming. You slept the man, you slept it. No, <laughs> barely. What you, what you uh, do? I'm gonna do a travel show for a travel? hotel company. Really? Yes, sir. You get spent all the time. In. That's a dream job, man. I haven't been outside of Texas before. That's why I got the show. Wow. Yeah, so this wow. is it. It's my second time. Wow. Atlanta's cool. been beautiful, dream man. Dream jobs, man. Uh, you, you from here? I'm born and raised here. Born and raised in Atlanta? Right. Atlanta's been beautiful, man. They got some good shit out I here. I love it. <laughs> uh, this is Atlanta institution, right? Yeah, man. You right. come here. You come here Those guys when you're gone out. off the sauce. Yeah. Lost off the drunk, sauce. When you're drunk, just the drunk food. Bro, let's go get some. Get I'm some trying. Let's, let's get some shit. That's yeah. it for me, Atlanta. <laughs> we go, what's your name, man? Tyrone. Tyrone. All right. Me and Tyrone. That's it. Ricky, don't. We signing off. We're about to go in here and get some grub. <laughs> With so much culture that comes out of Atlanta, I feel like I already knew so much about it. Whether it was the good people or the massive amounts of comfort food I was eating, I felt right at home here. I passed by what may have been an actual Marvel movie set. Oh, shit, that's probably like a real ass film set. Splashed up the park like ice tray. Finally had my drippery appreciated. You want the full drip? Southern hospitality is more than just a ludicrous song here in Atlanta. It's an institution. It's their innate sense of acceptance for everyone. It's sharing the fruits of their culture with the world. And it's the way Atlanteans take their circumstances, no matter how great or unfortunate, embrace the warm, fuzzy feeling that their home gives them, squeeze the good juice from it, and cast aside any pits or bad seeds that may interfere. It's no wonder this place is called the Big Peach. Streets is watching, player. I think I pee myself. <laughs> I say that, 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 come on, no, win it, now come on, win it, now come on, win it. Let me hit you with that sheesh pose, like, sheesh. You gotta know I'm like barely a hooper, so. Oh, that's off. It smells like dog shit right here. Did I step in dog shit? You did, didn't you? Did you step in dark shit? Oh, no, that's mud. Oh, it's an old sock over here. To book a room here or anywhere else in the country, visit oyohotels.com and download the app today.